Good morning and welcome along to the Jack Around today here at Goombungee. Jeff and Fiona from the Power FM morning crew with you. We're the morning drive people, aren't we? That's right. And we're doing it live on PTV Channel O, so the rest of the world can see what's happening here in Goombungee as well. Power FM is total entertainment. From the morning drive with Fiona and Jeff to the drive home with Jeff Black. On the weekends, catch the Crazy Kevin Show, Dennis Mitchell's Breakfast with the Beatles, the Semi-Pro Sports Show, and Racing Nation with James O'Shea, plus the music you grew up with. Keep your radio dial locked on Toowoomba's Power FM, celebrating 10 years. You'll find us at 88.0 on the FM dial or online at www.powerfmradio.com.au. Looking for exposure for your next event or function? Take your next community event, training seminar, sports event, official opening, function, concert or exhibition live to the world with PTV Channel O and Power FM's unique live simulcast. We can turn your next local event into a worldwide sensation for a fraction of what you would expect to pay. No matter what the event, PTV Channel O and Power FM can take your message to our audience. Invite the world to your party by phoning 0431 390 920 or email feedback at ptvchannelo.com. Now the parade gets underway at uh, half past 10-ish. It'll take a little while to come up here, but it'll be worth waiting for, I'm sure. Okay, so stand by for the uh, beginning of the parade around about 10.30 this morning here in Gumbungi for the Jacaranda Festival Day. as the parade begins to come around in front of us here, we have the Town Fire Brigade. The auxiliary firefighters are paid, part-time firefighters, just like full-time firefighters, and they attend structural and environmental fires, road crashes, chemical spills, and many other rescue scenarios. Auxiliary firefighters are unique, however, in that they are on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Holding regular jobs within the community, they're farmers, tradespeople, teachers, stay-at-home parents or truck drivers, nurses, factory or office workers. And the Gumbungi station supports a large area from its base as far as Yarraman and, and across to Dolby assisting with the following stations, Oki, Crow's Nest, Highfields and, well I said Yarraman and Dolby before, many Euro, uh, rural fire stations and SES units. This investment also assists the surrounding communities that Gumbungi QFES support with delivering fire education at the townships of Gumbungi, Hayden, Coltby, McLagan and Quinnelow. Now celebrating 100 years, the QCWA. Big round of applause for the QCWA, ladies and gentlemen. Good on you. We're up for the scones later. This branch is very active with twice a month scone morning teas, including takeaway. Next up is Dave and Noel Mira. I think Mara. that's Mara. They're 1951 British Bedford. Looks like a mini. <laughs> then we've got a whole new after that, which is... Oh, it's all part of the CWA, is That's it? That's right. Okay. I like the mini. I like the U. The Gumbungi State School don't forget to view their decorated tree near the school, as well as the stories that they have written about Gumbungi. These are scattered amongst the trees that are dressed along the median strip. There you go. Last time I was at school, I got sent out <laughs> on detention. I still own a couple of lines, I think. Please welcome the students from Aspire Dance Troupe. Now, you would have seen them performing earlier today. They were wonderful. Just encourage them, ladies and gentlemen, as they uh, walk past or march past, whichever they're doing. Give them some encouragement. So you have a map of what's happening throughout uh, the day I and do. where it's happening. I is do. that available to everybody? It is. There's going to be some volunteers walking around. Just look for the people who are in the bright coloured vests and they've got a program of the day with a map of where everything is and what time the events are happening because there are things happening all day right till 3 o'clock this afternoon when the rodeo starts. Yes. I saw that on the telly the other day that uh, there was a rodeo happening this afternoon and tonight.
So up next is the Gumbungee Little Folks group. And some big folks as well. Across the CWA celebrating 100 years. The branch is very active too with twice a month scone morning teas, including takeaway. So if you do want to grab some to take away, I'm sure you'll be able to do that. And we have an Alice in Wonderland theme happening here with their floating today. Good on you, Alice. Where's the bear? Isn't there a rabbit in there or something? Or a March hare? Dave and Narelle Maurer have a 1951 30 CWT British Bedford. Yep. We have Warren Steinhardt, the Bull Bulldog 1937 single cylinder restored in 2019. It won Best Show Tractor in Hamilton in Victoria just two weeks ago. And then the International B414, 1965 this tractor was built and it was used for the tractor trekking, restored and owned by Kim Russ. Followed by the Chevy Truck, a 1927, owned by Warren Steinhardt and driven by Shane Andreas. Next up is a uh, Ford Fairlane. Great car, nice car, nice gold colour. Pioneer Arms Hotel, Gumbungee, celebrating 125 years. Great little unit, that it's convertible. <laughs> as well. I thought that was us feeding back but it was the brakes. Is that a Cadillac? Blue Cadillac? Is that a Pontiac is it? Okay. John Newman from Tadoms. He's driving a vintage tractor, 1965. That was a good year. The Chamberlain Champion 9G Farm Tractor. This tractor's fitted with a bench seat and his border collie Gertie is riding along with him. It's her favourite place to be. We have a classic Sigma coming around the corner. My brother used to have one of those. Followed by a Cortina. I used to have one of those. You did too, didn't you? Not like that. No, but you had a Cortina. That's a Cortina. Is it? Yeah. It's one of the last ones. And the Morris. Morris used that one. What are Utes about? There is a lot of Utes about. Sora, I think they call it. It is a Toyota anyhow. And Mr. Flats from Cambodia, that looks like a Dodge. I didn't 
sí. Ah, mini mic, I know what that is. <laughs> Sorry, folks, we're a bit lost. It's um, we're totally no, off the program. So anyway, there's another model shoot. Proving what my knowledge of cars is. It's a pretty purple one. Some kind of a Ford Falcon. This looks like an XR or an XT Ford Falcon. I'll know when the taillights go around. It's an XR. XT has a chrome strip across the boot. Does it? Yeah. Like yeah. And a Mustang. Mustang. A Sigma or something. There's another Sigma. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Sorry, excuse me, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> the good bunch of girl guides, they're always out to enjoy the parade. Give them a big hand. Have you got cookies? I love I love the girl guide cookies. They're very good. Oh, well, look at the steam engine. Symes and some of his friends with their Harley Davidsons. for a fairy tea party. Nice. A lot of Morris is in the uh, parade today and this year. And in Austin, it's a Woody. Looks like a Woody. Cars are hiding, you know. They're going to come out on special occasions. I 
I've never seen so many Morrises and Austins in one place. Haven't you? No. They're in great condition. Somebody's put a lot of love into those. That one looks like it's on steroids, the brown <laughs> one. Fire Brigade, they're the final entry in the parade, I believe. They could, we could be surprised by something else coming up. A volunteer group, essential people in the district. Don't forget, of course, there's a static display of all these vehicles in Pioneer Park when the parade concludes. Obviously, the uh, lights are, the traffic lights are red at the moment. It's amazing the amount of people in here today. It's really good. That's right. Thank you, everybody, for coming out and supporting the Gumbunja community today. To Aspire Dance Company for coming out for their performance, for all of the entertainment that's happening, all of the people that have put a lot of work into the stalls. There's some fabulous uh, stalls in the marketplace for you to go and visit as well. Unique ones as well. Quite unique. Everything from iced tea to homemade cakes and pastries, pickles and chutneys. There's jewellery. Lamps, headbands, scarves, bath bombs, anything you could think of. We're having a tennis on at the moment. A tennis for you. Oh, there we go. Heading up to Pioneer Park. So the vehicles will be coming past one last time to make their way up to Pioneer Park where they'll be parked. And uh, their owners will be there if you want to go up and check them all out. If you've spotted your favourite and want to check it all out and see what they're like inside and out, and you'll be very welcome to do so. It's a very well presented FC unit, isn't it? Holden, the blue one. Yes. State School a big clap as they hit their way up. Good on you kids, putting your uniform on on a Saturday, that's hard work. Should get you off a few detentions by doing it too, brownie points. <laughs> I can tell you all about detention. Yeah, I'm sure you can. I think I still owe some, uh, I must not do these lines. I just want to never go back to my school. The Alice in Wonderland Mad Hatter's Tea Party. And the Mad Hatter's made an appearance, which is good. Because there's no tea party without the Mad Hatter, is it?
beautifully presented 1971 Ford Fairlane from Barry Rasmussen then. And then the Pioneer Arms Hotel again, coming around for another lap. Beautifully presented vintage cars. The Catalina you were talking about is coming up as well, the blue one. on the back. driving the 1966 restored Mustang Coupe and another Sigma that's the Mustang making that roll not the Sigma big wave to the girl guides do a fantastic job Sorry, I can't make out the front of it, but it is green. Just a reminder to you, you can check these out up close and personal up at Pioneer Park once the parade concludes. It's an HR the year, because the HD would have extended mud guards. Would it? Mm. <laughs> it's just going to take a while to get all the vehicles up and parked. And as Jeff said, they will be up in Pioneer Park 
for you to go and have a look at. Now, there's a lot of exhibitions happening as well. While you're out here, drop into the Rosalie Gall Gallery for I Love Gumbungee. It's featuring the work of local community artists across a range of mediums, and it will be open throughout the day. There's also the community exhibition, which is hanging from the trees along the street that you'll be seeing as you walk through. There's artworks from school students and community members along the theme of the Grumbungi I Wish to Care For. The Exogenes, Exogenesis Revelations is an exhibition of African community art and wearable art from local artist Isaiah Sikwata. That's at the Grumbungi Arts and Cultural Enterprise Hall, also here on McCotter Street. Don't get to pop into the museum to see A Moment in Time, the exhibition of the 112th scale models featuring a bullet dray and surrounding environment. Rob should be there to answer any questions as well. And of course the CWA celebrating their 100 years have their scones. They do that twice a, twice a month, they bake their scones. Very active, twice a month. Morning tea, including takeaways, so you, if you haven't got time to sit down and eat it all there, the Land Care Exhibition is happening at Gomeran and Doctors Creek Land Care Group. They've got photographs, stories and awards of their projects over the past year. Also, Alex Stalling has got a live chalk artist exhibition presented out the front of the Rosalie Gallery. Uh, it's renowned public artist Alex. He will be painting lots of things. <coughs> That concludes it all, ladies and gentlemen. As we mentioned, you can pop up to Pioneer Park and look at the uh, your vehicles up close. As I said, that wraps up uh, the parade, but the activities still continue. So we'll sign off from PTV Channel O and uh, catch you next year for the Jacaranda Festival Day or Day Festival. Festival Day, is it? We'll work it out anyhow. We'll play some more music, though, as you browse around the area and, and check it all out and celebrate. Just... You're, you're right. And just a reminder, well, not a reminder, but we just heard that the Rodeo has been cancelled, which was due to happen this afternoon from 3 o'clock. So uh, if you were planning on going to that one, you'll have to find a different activity. Enjoy the rest of the day, folks. Enjoy the rest of the day, folks. Have a great afternoon. There's plenty to see and do. There's lots of shops that are open. There's lots of stalls as well. So have a great afternoon. And thank you for coming to Gumbungee.